Look at this miniature. What do you think of it? Three colors, some pretty nice highlights. Looks pretty ready for battle, right? Wrong! This miniature is cringe! Ooh. Now this one. This one is base. Battle ready. Have you even seen the requirements? Three colors and basic. So unless you want the tournament judges knocking at your door, you better watch this video. Lucky for you, I'll protect you from the Citadel legal team with five easy bases you can make quickly and easily. With stuff you might even have at home. Now I have about four minutes and 20 seconds before GW arrest me for this video, so let's just get started. Unfortunately, this base will require you to go outside. That's right, you're gonna need to touch grass. Go fetch, nerd, because we're gonna need a stick for this one. Make sure to bake it first to kill any remnants of the outdoors from it. After you've recovered from that traumatic experience you'll also need some leaves don't worry these are fake miniature leaves you don't need to see sunlight again and if you're feeling brave enough you can even add some grass stuffs now you have your very own piece of the outdoors you can observe without the fear of inhaling fresh air again now this second base is my favorite because we get to inhale resin fumes i love the smell of lung cancer in the morning but before we can get to the good part start by covering part of the base with sand while resisting the urge to make an outdated star wars sand. reference and paint the rest in blue now you could leave it here and be cringe or you could break out the resin resin might sound scary to attempt at first but trust me it's good stuff if you're too scared to try resin, you need to try out this water effects from Vallejo. Not sponsored, but I could be Vallejo. This whole bottle cost me about 20 Aussie dollars. You literally just pour it on. It's that easy. I'm sure even you can handle that. Then just set it aside for a few hours while you go and contemplate life. Think about the impact you have on the world. Ponder on those two minute noodles you had for lunch. Think on why you should subscribe to my YouTube channel. And about supporting me financially on Patreon, where there are lots of cool rewards and tiers to choose from side for just $1 a month. <clears throat> Those two minutes were actually pretty good though. Oh, and the base is done. This third base idea I stole from my friend. Thanks, Nathan. Normally just as useless as the Warhammer playtesting team, we're instead gonna turn these delicious turtle snacks into the perfect base for shovel-loving guard players. And it only has five steps. Ready? Green stuff. Cut them to length, paint them like wood, prime the base, glue them and stack them up, and add your favorite texture. And you can add different washers for variants. Okay, I lied, there were seven steps, but maths is for nerds. Wow, I suddenly feel an urge to fix bayonets. Truly a base blessed by the Emperor himself. All right, now that the guard players are busy with their trenches, let's try something a little heretical called trying new things. I've never done this before, but I'm a professional, so it should be easy enough. And hopefully we don't accidentally summon a high fleet to allocation. I already have one voracious entity after me. To an untrained eye, these might just look like sewing beads, but trust me, there is a plan here, somewhere. All you need to do is add a little magic juice called super glue. Just add it to the PVA glue. Trust me, bro. I did not pay attention to chemistry because science is for nerds, but I do have a degree in being very cool, and this looks very cool to me. If you've made it this far and you still haven't found an easy enough base, here's one for you. I call it literally just gravel, the perfect base for any miniature you want to look as average as possible. This is for your masses of barely painted miniatures that no one will pick up to look at because they're too busy reading the five rule books they need to play the game. There are multiple ways you could make a gravel base. If you're feeling brave enough to touch grass, you can use real life rocks, but unfortunately not everyone is as cool and outgoing as I am, so I'll I'd recommend trying Astro Granite Debris or any other grey rocky texture paste. Now I know you have very important things to get back to, but trust me, don't skip the next step. So click back on the video and listen up. Spend the extra 10 seconds giving the base a wash with the Holy Duo, Agrax Earthshade and Null Noil, and add some Bieltan Green for extra variation. That's all I'm asking of you. Now you can go back to feeding top lane till your heart's content. But if you're still watching, here's some extra pro advice just for you. Give it a very quick light dry brush in an almost white color. And add a grass tuft or two if you want it to at least look better than a gas station sushi roll. Now you should have no excuse for evading Games Workshop lore and getting your minis to battle ready standard. If you'd like to get your hands on some delicious resin or any other product in this video, check out Vol games. If you're a cool Australian like me, they got you covered for all your hobby needs, so check the link below. And if you'd like to show off what you've been working on, join my Discord and my Patreon. I promise it's not a scam. But if motivation is what you need to get started, check out this inspirational video on how to get your lazy butt into miniature painting mode and defeat your pile of shame. Now I don't want to see any more grey or unbased minis ever again. Get that cringe out of-